And I'm back everyone. So at this point in time, we'll be continuing the discussion of character analysis. So let's start to see. So we're done already with uh, the different types of characters of uh, the character itself. So what do you think is the importance of understanding the different types of characters when crafting into your character analysis? So they are very important in a way that you can easily uh, try to describe how or what is the function and purpose of the character within the movie or the journey of that character within the movie. So let's have proceed. So for this session, we're going to be dealing with how to write a great character analysis. So the first thing that you need to do first is, of course, you need to read the story. I mean, the first step in trying to creating a character analysis is to try to have or um, if you're trying to look into a movie, therefore, you need to watch it. But if it's in a document, or a paper or in a digital one, of course, you need to read the story. You need to really look into the focus of the story. Um, and also, you need to pay attention to every detail of the story so that it's easy for you to really um, interpret or how the story revolves into the character. So the next one is you need to choose a character to analyze. So uh, a while ago, I asked you that uh, I'll be giving you the character that you're going to analyze as uh, really depends on uh, the confirmity of it. So therefore, um, you need to look into what or who are you going to analyze. So what is the name of the character that you're going to analyze so that it's easy for you to really look into how that uh, character revolves in the story. I mean, and also how the other characters affects the story that, uh, I mean, affects the character that being analyzed. So you need to choose a character that you want to analyze. Um, it doesn't uh, to be necessarily that the character that you're analyzing is the protagonist. So uh, it depends. It can either be the uh, ma a major or the minor, depending on the conformity of the character that you're going to analyze. And then after that one, if you have already chosen uh, the mm -hmm. character that you're going to analyze, is the next one is about to try to take down notes. Take down notes in terms of the events that happen to the character itself and try to examine the important elements of, uh, of the story that really affects the character. So to do this, you should provide vivid and specific examples of their personality traits to come alive on a paper or screen. And then after reading what you have written about that person's characteristic, you try to take uh, some like going back over of the main idea and um, trying to look into um, the relationship of the character into your notes and to really get the bigger picture of uh, what you're trying to say. So after that one is... Um, after you take down notes already, this time around, you're going to be uh, selecting the main idea. So how are you going to select the main idea? So if you have chosen already the character, you eventually see the focus of the character itself. So what is being portrayed in terms of social cultural, uh, cultural one, or of course, the events itself already. So you try to look into what is or what is the main idea or the focus of main idea into your character analysis so after that one you try to support your idea with examples and situations that involve the main character okay so if your focus is about looking into uh the character traits or the personality traits of uh, the character uh that is what you mean by the main idea now, if you want to look into uh, the situational analysis of the character, that's another thing. So again, you look into what is the focus of uh, the uh, character analysis. That's the thing. So you have lots of ways on in terms of how are you going to analyze the characters. It can either be in terms of uh, the situational, uh, the biographical of the character itself, or um, something like more of uh, the uh, social cultural aspect of uh, the character itself. So the next one would be, uh, the next one would be uh, the uh, composing of the character analysis question. So what do you mean by that? You try to look, if you already know the the, the main idea or the topic of, the, uh, of uh, the discussion of that character, this time around, you need to look into the what uh, questions are you going to be, are you going to throw to the character itself? So, so that you can look into 
in terms of the analysis of the character. So first one, for example, where do this event involving my character take place? What relationship does he or she have with other significant characters? Has there been any major change throughout the story that has changed his or her life? Um, fat and significantly or affect him deeply on an emotional level? Or is there any lesson that the character has learned at the end of the story? Or has the character achieved his or her goals? So that is how you try to craft the analysis of the question. Uh, however, um, the questions um, in terms of the character analysis doesn't really, I mean, uh, concise and uh, really, I mean, just only focus on that character. It depends on you, on how are you going to really play with the questions, to really look into and trying to get deeper into the character um, characteristics, okay? So the next one is the creating of an outline. So after you have gathered already the questions, I mean, answers to the questions, therefore, that's the time that you're going to create an outline already outline on how are you going to present the character analysis like uh, are you going to start with uh, the the uh, code of the character that makes the character being described so here we have uh, the three parts and usually all analysis will uh, mean that the following parts the intro the body and the conclusion in short every uh, analysis that you're having into the world literature make sure that it follows the three parts the introduction the body and conclusion it doesn't mean that uh you are only concise with three paragraphs you can have like three or more so for the introduction we have the briefing of the point sentences that tells the reader what the character analysis is all about for the body paragraphs of course this is the content of the character itself and the third one is about the conclusion more of your judgment more of your judgment in terms of the uh, character okay so to really look into the discussion of the following let's have the first one so the introduction as what i'm telling you this is about the uh, you can add here the brief uh, description of the character wherein it holds together the entire essay and spark of the interest of your audience so you can write a short description of the character uh, you can include, uh, but it doesn't mean, uh, but don't forget to include a character analysis thesis statement. This is a statement it is basically more of the quote that uh, symbolizes the character itself. So uh, sometimes it is the gist of the character analysis. So this should make a case for the character's relevance within the context of the narrative. So the next one would be, the next one would be the body. So here at the body, uh, you're going to be looking into the questions that I have uh, given you. I mean, the one that you have formulated. And from that formulation of questions, it is included into the body. So, like for example, what is the character's physical appearance, the conflict, uh, the things that you have learned from the character, the meaning behind the character's action, uh, what does the character do, what does the character say, um, about the vocabulary, uh, vocabularies, how does the character describe themselves? So what words do you associate with the character? So the like the hope, the bravery, or the freedom, or any characteristics that you can define to the character. So that is what uh, uh, revolves into the body of the character analysis. So the next one is about the conclusion. So here at the conclusion, uh, you try to look into the um, more of making it into... Uh, the ideas coming together in just uh, the uh, uh, conclusionary part or like the judgment of the writer uh, into the character. So you try to mention things about the character's conflict and you may also write already uh, the uh, um, relationship of yours to the character. You can write about how a character should have reacted to a certain situation. So try to uh, try to have a relationship already with uh, your situation or with life situation and that's how you try to put already the the final agreement for your conclusion so that would be all everyone for the character analysis so i hope you have already the idea on how are you going to come up with the character analysis just make sure that you follow the parts of the intro the body and conclusion so that it's easy for you now if you have any questions at least just let me know into the PM and all, or if I need to have another um, simpler discussion about the character analysis. So remind yourself, 
that there should be intro, body, and conclusion. And I know you are very familiar already on how are you going to really, I mean, the different ways on how to write the introduction, uh, different ways on how to write the body, and different ways on how to write a conclusion. So that would be all, everyone, and have a nice day for the uh, sub uh, topic of the character analysis for world literature. So that would be all, everyone. Thank you so much.